What is going on, New York Giant fans? Welcome back to another Roster Bubble Series video. Hit the like button if you haven't already. Comment and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you know when a live stream pops or a video drops. Appreciate it coming back. Also, share this out as well. Another Roster Bubble video for you guys today, and we will be talking about a New York Giants draft pick from 2022. But first, the way I do these videos, I talk about a player on the Roster Bubble. I talk about their background. I talk about their competition as well. Then I go into whether... Uh, Excuse me. How they can win a spot on the roster, how they can lose a spot on the roster. And at the end, a projection. We're going to talk about Darian Beavers today. 24 years old, 6'4", 255. Went to UConn originally in college and switched over to his hometown of Cincinnati for the rest of his collegiate years. Drafted by the Giants in the sixth round. And a lot of people saw him in training camp even before then. Darian Beavers is going to be the inside linebacker to next to Blake Martinez. Now, Blake Martinez was obviously cut, and a lot of turnover happened, but Darian Beavers was seen as this guy, hey, listen, he's going to be the inside linebacker too, and this, that, and the third, and a lot of people had, like, great hopes for this guy. So he played one game in the preseason, and also in training camp, he played okay. Like, he didn't play great. You know, they were rotating him and McFadden next to Martinez and all these other guys on the inside, and unfortunately, well, this is where his career takes a downturn. Uh, he tears his ACL on the MetLife turf in Week 2 against the Cincinnati Bengals. He was placed on IR for the rest of the season. Something DJ Davidson would go through as well as Marcus McKeithen. Both Giants draft picks from that season. So, what happens? IR for an entire season. And then you go to 2023 when he's competing for a backup role. Now, Isaiah Simmons didn't come in yet. Um, but you have McFadden and Okereke as the top two, and he's carving out a role. He wants to compete with guys like Deontay Johnson, some of these other cats as well, Carter Coughlin, Cam Brown. There was another undrafted free agent. I'm not thinking of his name right now. Um, but he played okay, didn't play great, and didn't really stand out. So that's where he got cut. He got cut by the New York Giants and re-signed to the practice squad. And played two games in 2023, but 37 snaps on special teams. Not on defense, on special teams. And that's a problem a little bit. Maybe a lot. Think about it. So let's talk about his competition. You got Matt Adams, who's coming over from the Browns, and he was a special teamer. You got Isaiah Simmons, special teamer and rotational piece on defense. Darius Massau, who was drafted by the Giants this past year. And you have Diante Johnson, who was undrafted free agent out of Toledo last year. Now, why is it a problem for Darian Beavers? Because he's going into two new schemes. It could be a problem, but it could also be a positive. Darian Beavers was drafted for the wink scheme. Wink scheme is no longer here. And now it's the Shane Bowen scheme, where he really doesn't touch the linebackers too much. I'm not talking about outside, I'm talking about inside. He fucks around with the safeties. Sometimes he'll do slot blitzes and this, that, and the third. That's why they drafted Andrew Phillips and signed Jalen Mills. But, I mean, as far as Darian Beavers goes, there's not really, like, rotational pieces. And he doesn't have to be a rotational piece. But when he's had the pass that he has, it's going to be a little tough. It's going to be rock climbing from here. So, not only does he have to walk into a new defensive scheme, but he has to walk into a new special team scheme. Which could be a positive again, but it could also be a negative. Because Darius Massau, he has familiarity with Gobriel. Um, Dante Johnson, obviously, kind of same situation for him, but Beavers was actually drafted by the Giants. Simmons, a little bit more leverage, and Matt Adams probably on the same level because he's known for special teams. So how can he win, right? Special teams, first of all, health has to be one thing, right? He has to be fully healthy. He can't have any ACL injuries, injuries at all because this is going to be one of his last stands. He is a six-round pick, and he doesn't really stand too much of a chance too long. So that's number one. Number two is special teams. He's going to need to break in on special teams. Didn't play a lot of defensive snaps last year. He'll be a backup. Uh, he's probably not playing with the ones, maybe the twos, but he'll definitely be playing threes and fours. He's going to need to make his role in special teams. When you have a guy like Matt Adams who's trying to carve out a role in special teams just to stick onto a roster, Dante Johnson, the same thing. Simmons, you could argue a little bit, and Darius Massau. That whole group, and Carter Coughlin as well, is going to be competing based on special teams as their foundation. And Beavers, he's going to need to step on that and basically have that as a checkpoint. Run defense and carving a backup role. Pass coverage, I don't really worry too much about. 
But run defense, the New York Giants haven't had great run defenders over the past few years. Now, he's not a defensive lineman. He's a linebacker. So you have McFadden, who does have his fair share of his tackles. And you have Bobby Okereke, who obviously we know is a pretty good, pretty damn good linebacker. So Beavers has to step in there behind either Simmons or behind those two guys and play really good run defense. Again, you won't see that till the joint practices and the preseason games, but that's something you're going to need to see. And also, it's not even just that. If you want to see anything in training camp, you're going to need to see him plugging gaps, being right there where the running back is. That's going to be big. And even just the small stuff in positional drills. So run defense and carving a backup role, special teams and health. How can he lose? Injuries would be a killer. Lack of special teams, that would be bad. That would be bad if he doesn't play a lot of special teams. Again, he had two games last year. He played 37 snaps total. Um, That's going to be one of his biggest paths to the roster, one of the biggest parts of his foundation to making this team. And lack of gap discipline, tackling, passed over by a fellow vet talent. That goes to special teams, but that also goes to... um, him being in the NFL and him being a linebacker. I think the biggest detriment, there's really three big detriments if you think about it. Injury, again, not too injured in the past other than the ACL, so, you know, call it what it is. Lack of special teams, super detriment because that's the way a lot of these linebackers are getting on this roster and a lot of players as well. And lack of get, lack of gap discipline and tackling. If he's not playing the run well or if he's getting just blown out by these tight ends or the just pulling guards, he doesn't really stand much of a chance. So I think him playing special teams and just being a solid backup linebacker does the job. So again, how can he win? Hell, special teams, run defense, carving a backup role. How can he lose? Lack of special teams, injuries, lack of gap discipline, tackling, passed over by Velvet Talent. Fortunately, I do have him getting cut from the New York Giants. I feel like there's too many linebackers that could probably make it over him. Simmons being one, maybe Carter Coughlin. Adams could possibly stick onto the roster for special teams reasons. But I feel like he could make the practice squad just to say, hey, you know, uh, he's a Giants draft pick. Let's keep him, see if he develops. But I don't really see him getting a backup role on this team. Like, comment, subscribe to all the good stuff. Turn on post notifications so you know when the live stream pops. Your drops. Appreciate coming back. Peace out, guys. See you later. Stay cool.